In FC24, you might get accurate passes even if you don't face your target directly, but with the upcoming FC25, this will be changed and will be much harder. This is how it looks like in the current game, and this is how it will be in the next one according to the developers. This is why you have to fix this bad habit of trying to pass the ball into a direction you are not facing as soon as possible. Let me give you a simple rule to follow. Even if you're not directly facing your target, they have to be in a certain passing angle. If we draw a straight line showing where the dribbler is facing, your potential receivers should be 90 degrees at max towards your left or right. Any other player that is outside of this angle should not be your target unless you take an extra step and get a new passing angle towards them. You might change your passing target under pressure, but not panicking and simply taking the extra step towards your new target will hugely increase the accuracy of your pass. In this example, I am currently trying to get the ball towards the upper side, though I am facing the lower side with Kamavinga. Don't panic, control the ball, take one step towards the upper side to face your receiver, and there we go, an accurate pass. Now I try to position myself in a direction where I can potentially send the pass to both my players. Unfortunately, that doesn't happen and Kamavinga again gets out of my sight, which eventually leads me to turn in his direction. With a key pass, I get in behind a defensive line, but I'm completely facing away from my striker. So with a quick step, I turn myself away from the defenders and the reverse elastico helps me to completely turn myself to my striker. Seeing the winger who is coming from the lower side, I immediately prepare the next pass by taking a step in his direction and I get a well-deserved goal. There are many ways to create this angle to face the receiver instead of rushing a pass to a random direction. In fact, we have a completely free lesson on the Guide Plus where we show you some expert mechanics for creating those passing opportunities. If you're interested, check the links in the description. In the passing flow of the game, you might already know your next target and this is where a little trick comes in handy, which you should think of doing most of the time. While the ball is traveling before reaching your player, make sure to direct your left stick towards your next receiver so that your current receiver controls the ball in that direction. This will help you get rid of your bad habit and you will get the optimal passing angle. While the pressure is increasing, I don't send a panicky pass in a direction I'm not facing. Instead, I control the ball towards there with the first touch and only then send the pass. Same goes here. I know my next target, therefore I use the first touch once more to get the optimal passing lane. Getting used to this and executing it in consecutive passing situations will prepare you incredibly for the next game. Talking about pressure, it might get really annoying but you can take advantage of it if you know how to deal with it. In one of our latest videos, we show you how to get rid of pressure, which also appears on your screen right now. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Until next one, take care and peace.